Hello everyone, welcome to another 45 Drives Tech Tip. Brett here again, and we're talking Houston modules. The new one's up and coming, and today we're talking about the Houston schedule. So not long ago, we put out a video talking about the roadmap of the new Houston modules that are be coming out over the next little bit. We've got a lot of them in the works and we're really excited about getting them out. So if you haven't checked that video, go watch that first. Um, so we've unveiled the first one of that not long ago. It was the next generation of our ZFS module. So we're really excited about that. But today we're talking about the Houston scheduler module. So what is that exactly? So you've got a storage server, storage servers, um, and you uh, need all kinds of automated daily tasks to run, monthly, whatever. It's a common feature in um, servers, storage servers, whatever, to be able to kind of set a task up and have it automatically do itself over and over again. Um, so what the scheduler module is, is a centralized place for all the different schedule tasks that you may want to run on your storage server, such as snapshots, automated snapshots, um, ZFS replication, um, cloud syncing, sending data to and from the cloud. Um, that's what the scheduler is. We've built the scheduler in such a way that it's gonna be very modular. So then as we release a new feature to it, update, and it's got a new automated task you can work from. So, well, you know what? That's enough words. Let me show it to you. Let's hop over to the screen um, and uh, we'll dive into it. Okay, so we're sitting at the Houston scheduler page. You can see it in our side panel here. And uh, this is the home for all automated tasks. It's for anything that you need to run on a schedule. So, um, first thing I'll do is open this add new task. Because right now we're sitting at a blank screen. Um, if I had a bunch of tasks here, I could search for them, see which ones are running. But you know what? Let's make one and we can talk about that. So, I'll hit add new task. Okay, but first, before we create anything, let's take a look at this drop down list. See that we've called them task templates. Right now, we support the ability to make automated snapshot tasks or automated ZFS replication tasks or both. And the idea of this module is that we'll be adding more and more and more and more and more, no, there's too many more, types of tasks to this list. For example, we'll be doing cloud syncing with, um, with our clone, or we'll be doing, um, put some cron jobs and stuff in this. We've built this in such a way that we wanted to get this out to everyone, and it's modular that we can add ideas as they're requested in or as we build them in. So, when this thing launches, the first thing it's going to go with is the ability to do ZFS replication, automated snapshot task with Cloud Sync very soon to follow. So with that said, let's actually make a task. So I'm going to make a ZFS backup task because I already got a pool made and uh, I want to send it somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it out over the internet somewhere else. So how would I do that? So I'm just going to call my task backup. Uh, the tooltip here, if I mouse over, is going to tell me oh, what I can put in the uh, title. That's great. Um, and I want a ZFS replication task. So when I click this, this pops up. So it needs to know my source location. What am I sending? So I'm going to select my ZFS pool. Um, I've got a pool, I've got a couple pools, but the pool I want to send from is tank. I want to send all my uh, data. I've got a, a data set called data, redundant, I know. And how many snapshots to keep on the source? Because this, this will prune itself. It'll take its own snap and send it. So I'll use the default five snaps. That's fine. You can increase that if you want. If you want, you can hit the custom button and you can type in whatever pool and data set you want. But drop downs are way easier. Um, let's, uh, let's send that to a remote target. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm just going to send it to itself, but out over the internet, just for ease, right? So a nice little feature here that we can test the SSH. The way ZFS send and receive works is it sends via SSH. So you need to set up pastureless SSH. So it's really annoying. Maybe you set all this up and it's not. Uh, pastureless SSH is not set up. So let's test it. Boom. There we go. Cool. Everything's working. Now on the target location, because we've put that remote target in, it is aware of the pools on that storage, which is really cool. So I want to send it from tank and I want to send it to storage and a data set I call backup. And on my destination, I also want to keep five snapshots. So I'm going to leave that there. And some of these other uh, settings, if you want to change them, that's great. But defaults are fine. So we're going to hit add task. So do you wish to schedule this task now? Yes, I do. I want to run this on a schedule. So I'm going to hit yes. And now the schedule manager pops up. 
So this is familiar for most, I'd imagine. This is nothing new. It's, it's how you set up cron tasks or, or any scheduled things in a Linux environment. But what's really cool about what we did here is we give you a little preview on what that's going to look like on the calendar. Um, I know personally, picking these values sometimes, I always have to double check and be like, okay, so I want it on the second day, third day. This graphically shows us that. So maybe I want to run this thing daily. Boom, look, every day on the calendar shows that it runs. Okay, what if I want to get a little more dramatic? I want to run it on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and um, Saturdays. And uh, I want to run it every day, or like, every one of those days. So there we go. Instead of me trying to have to figure out what kind of like magic I need to put in to get everything to work there, there is tool tips if you wanna go in that, but I'm just gonna check my calendar here. That's exactly what I wanna run, perfect. Okay, and um, that's it. Let's hit save interval. And then another cool little feature, we translate all that to English for you. At the start of the hour, at midnight, every day, every month, every year, on Sunday, but only on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. Cool. If I didn't like that and I wanted to change it because I've decided, you know what, that doesn't make any sense. Let me click that again and we go back to edit mode. So um, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to clear that interval. Okay, what I actually want to do for illustrative purposes because I want to show you this thing firing uh, is I'm going to actually just going to run this every minute. So let's save this. So we translate to English every minute, every hour, every day, every month, every year. That is a little ridiculous. In practice, you don't need to do it this match, but you can if you want. And we're doing it right now because I wanna show you what happens when this thing fires. So uh, let's hit save schedule. Boom. So we're gonna run every minute, every hour, every day, every month, every year. I just wanted to say that again. Um, and it should run here in about 15 seconds. Right. And there we go. We can see that it ran uh, right when we said it was going to. So let me check the logs here and it started the service for the backup. Now we know that task ran, and now it's running in the background, and that data is flowing in. Um, I can close the details here, I can add new tasks, and um, yeah, if I wanna change the schedule or edit anything like that, I can do it through here. All right, well that's a sneak peek at the Houston scheduler. We're really proud of this one. We're really excited to show you guys uh, this and to get everyone's hands on it. And a shout out to the developer who, who built this, Jordan Keogh, Great member of our team here and uh, love to see the work he's putting into things. So um, with that said, when can you get this? Uh, this and the ZFS module will be releasing at the same time in the coming weeks. And I say coming weeks, I mean probably by the end of next week or the week after. We're finishing testing and validation and making sure everything's perfect there. And uh, that'll be going up in our stable 45 drives repo so you can access it there little more info about as we finish these modules, we're going to roll them out piece by piece. We're not gonna wait for one big finish. So uh, when you see a video showcasing a module, it'll be in the next few weeks that that thing will hit testing and stable and we'll be able to use. So stay tuned, hope you enjoyed that. Can't wait to keep showing you guys this stuff. And uh, yeah, comments, questions, concerns, whatever you want, we love to hear it. Put it in the comment box below, Instagram, X, Twitter, all the different socials. We want to hear from you. So talk to you guys later. See you again soon.